Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am Neha Paryani and in this session we are going to discuss about the questionnaire method of data collection. Okay, in the previous session we have discussed about all the primary methods of data collection in that one among the, the those method is questionnaire method. We'll discuss in detail along with it we'll also discuss what are the qualities of a good questionnaire. Okay, so let us begin. So first of all, let us try to understand what is mean by a questionnaire. Okay, so in simple words, if I want to say it is nothing but a set or a collection of questions written or printed on a paper, right? So the questionnaire is used to collect the data or collect the information from large number of people at a time. Okay, like suppose I want, I'll give you an example. Okay, I want to manufacture a computer okay or uh, we can say i want to manufacture a laptop right now uh, what all the qualities my laptop should have what all the public is expecting for, for uh, as in a good laptop so all that information is compulsorily required by a company okay like uh, what could be the most affordable price for most of the population Okay, at what price many people will be ready to purchase the laptop along with it at affordable prices, what qualities they are accepting, what quali qualities they are expecting. Okay, these things should be known. What is the trendy color? What is the most preferred color that most of the people want? Okay, and I want to collect information from the various age groups, right? So I want to collect the information from large amount of a well, large number of public right now in this case if i go and personally inquire or personally interview each one of the people it will be very long process or it will be very lengthy and time consuming process so in that case what i can do is i can prepare a questionnaire so this questionnaire nothing but in simple words we can say a question paper a collection of questions will include all the questions Okay, so which will help me to collect the information. What color is most preferred? What price is most preferred? Okay, what should be the size? What should be the weight? What should be the configuration? Right, everything. So by collecting the data from a large public, I can come to a conclusion. Right, okay. So around uh, like for 40,000 to 50,000 uh, rupees of laptop is most affordable by most of the people. So I can try to manufacture a laptop uh, which which will be in that range. Then there are more chances that uh, the sale of my laptop will be very good. Okay, so basically white or silver color is most preferred by most of the people. So I will try to prepare, I'll try to manufacture more and more white or silver color or I'll, I'll make some innovations in it. Okay, so company will come to a conclusion which will help the company to boost its sales right so i'll pre simply prepare a set of question papers i'll distribute it in some area where, which will have a large amount of public like suppose a mall okay any fair right any seminar halls conferences i will be distributing my questionnaires there and i would request them to fill the questionnaire and return it back to me here. So the questionnaire is used for the purpose of a survey or statistical study. As I told you, to conduct a survey or research or to collect information, questionnaire can be used. Okay, A questionnaire may contain both close-ended and open-ended questions. So what is meant by this close-ended questions? Right. Close-ended questions means you have to answer only in yes or no. Right? Suppose I ask you certain question, okay, whether black color laptop is preferable, right? So you only have to answer yes or no. So there's no other choice. You cannot describe what you feel in closed-ended questions, whereas open-ended questions are opposite of it. So there you can describe your, you can describe your feelings. There will be space provided to write your answer. You Okay, description box will be provided where you can write your suggestions or answers. So a questionnaire may contain both, but most preferably uh, close-ended questions 
are more helpful okay then so what are the advantages of using a questionnaire method okay so basically it's very cheap method okay it just involves a paper a paper which has a printed or written set of questions that's all it's relatively very cheap to collect the data from large amount of public it is cheap it is quick also yes so within uh, within few minutes anybody can fill the questionnaire and return it back to us okay and it's very helpful when large when information is to be collected from large sample of people i already told you okay these are the advantages now there could be some disadvantages also by using a questionnaire so it could be sometimes people could be ignorant like suppose so you are going to a mall with your family and somebody gives you a questionnaire to fill okay so for some times it could be quite disturbing for some people and they may ignore it they may not fill it right this could be one reason and sometimes people may lie also even though if they fill the questionnaire uh, people may lie okay so the the chances of lying or being ignorant are more in case of a questionnaire clear overall it is a good method it is a really cheap method to collect data from a large sample okay or a large amount of public okay now let us have a look at what should be the qualities of a good questionnaire right so suppose when you are presenting a set of questions to public so it should have certain qualities right so it should provide us meaningful information it should not be just time wasting or uh, yes time wasting for people okay so what all the qualities a good questionnaire should have so first quality is it should have a covering letter so along with a questionnaire there should be a covering letter so this letter should contain the information uh, like why the why the survey is being conducted or why it is important to fill the questionnaire what is the purpose of conducting the survey so all those information will be written in this covering letter with the, which is attached with the questionnaire this is very important okay then limited number of questions definitely so when somebody is filling your questionnaire if there are like hundreds of questions in it so people will be ignorant people uh, will be not very interested to fill it because it is time consuming okay people may simply ignore but if it has limited number of questions and if it includes all the information that is required that is well and good okay so questions should be in limited number but it should grab all the information required right third quality is language of the questions yes now the language of the question should be simple right it should be simple which should be easily understood even by the averagely educated people okay it should not have very technical words technical terms which are difficult to understand it should include a common language okay then uh, placed in proper manner yes the questions in the questionnaire should be placed in a chronological or in a in a, in an ordered form okay so they should have a proper flow a sequence or a meaning of, to the questionnaire right so whatever questions are required whenever wherever they are placed that is not a quality of a good questionnaire there should be a proper sequence of questions uh, followed in a questionnaire then definitely it should not involve controversial questions any questions which uh, show the favoritism okay which can create a problem for the person who is answering okay problem which can create the problem for the respondent okay such a questions like uh, who is your favorite politician who is your favorite actor right what do you want, what is your view on a particular topic right so such questions should not be included in the questionnaire as it directly shows the favoritism okay it could create controversies or it could create problem for the respondent okay so that is not a good quality of a good questionnaire then avoid questions involving calculations definitely so questionnaires will be filled by people like um, 
not in a very convenient way right whenever they are like they are roaming in a mall they are they are what they are attending some seminar or a conference you are giving them a questionnaire to be filled in those circumstances nobody will have a calculator nobody will have the patience to do such lengthy calculations and answer it okay so as i told the questions should be simple the language should be simple okay it should not involve lengthy calculations okay if it involves lengthy calculation again the chances of being ignored are a lot more then pilot survey this is very important pilot survey is nothing but pre testing of a questionnaire okay suppose we have a printed 100 questionnaires right 100 set of uh, questions okay so yes now i want to conduct survey on 100 people so this is a huge amount right before conducting survey on 100 people i should do a quick pilot survey which is nothing but pre testing of questionnaire on small group of people okay i should test i should give same questionnaire to around 5 to 10 people to be filled by them right and then collect their response so by this what happens i will come to know that whether there are any mistakes in the questionnaire is there any question which is which could create a controversy okay which might be tricky to understand so all these things can be uh, rectified after conducting a pilot survey and we can also come to know that whether people are interested to answer on the topic or not so pilot survey is pre testing of a questionnaire on small group of people so conducting a pilot survey is very important okay then clear instructions definitely clear instructions should be provided uh, before filling the questionnaire okay so yes instructions will be written on every question paper or uh, yeah every for, for every set of task that we perform right so instructions are very important then re request for return again an important thing as people will take your questionnaire they will fill it okay sometimes they may not return it right so there should be a note which which will request the people to return the questionnaire back to the uh, back to the researcher or the person who has distributed the questionnaire okay request note is also important then at last it should have objective type questions remember i told you about close ended questions okay here lot of description uh, will not be provided here you just have to choose an option it could be either yes or no it could be the true or false okay agree disagree strongly agree strongly disagree so only such a kind of option kind of questions or objective type of questions are preferable because they are easy to answer and they are less time consuming if the questions are open ended then again people might ignore by thinking who is going to write such long descriptions so there are again the chances of being ignored increases a lot okay so questionnaire should be simple it should have simple language it should not hurt anybody's sentiments it should not be controversial it should not include calculations right pilot surveys must and should preferably it should have objective type questions okay so these are the qualities of a good questionnaire overall as i told questionnaire method will be helpful when we want to collect the information from large amount of public at a cheaper uh, in a cheaper way okay so suppose when the public is illiterate right then there it compulsory the questionnaire should be filled by an respondent correspondent okay correspondent is going to fill the information for the people who are not literate or who are not in the position to answer the questionnaire okay so that's all for today this was about the questionnaire method of collecting data so in my upcoming class we will be discussing about secondary methods of data collection so stay tuned so thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel share with your friends and i hope to see you all in the next one